the mediating effect of coping strategies in the relationship between decline factors and psychological distress. So we find that there have been a lot of research done on mental um, health problems in workplace, in the, in both in Sri Lanka as well as overseas. This is mainly uh, because uh, of the impact of mental health problems on, on the individual as well as the massive cost it can have in an, uh, for an organization in terms of absenteeism, turnover, reduced performance, loss of business productivity, income replacement outlays and health service issues. Among the um, common mental health problems, uh, psychological distress is highly prevalent. It can also create wider social problems. And we notice that mental and behavioral problems associated with psychological distress is in rise in Sri Lanka, I can affirm that. And more specifically, in the Sri Lankan context, in the private sector, and primary coping strategies were also identified. The first step of the mediation model confirms that agreeableness, consciousness, and neuroticism were uh, affecting, uh, determine, uh, affecting the psychological distress experienced by an individual. <coughs> step two of the model, that is to establish the relationship between Sri Lanka, I can affirm that. And more specifically, in the Sri Lankan context, in the private sector, and um, both uh, work factors and personal factors are influencing psychological distress. And in terms of uh, personal factors, which affect the stress and stress uh, strain relationship, personality has been found to be more prevalent. And uh, personality is also considered uh, as an important influence in almost all aspects of the stress uh, process, stress coping process. Also, personality has been associated uh, to the probability of the occurrence of stressful events, appraisal of an event as stressful, possibility of using coping strategies, and effectiveness of those coping strategies. The re main research objective of this study was to find out whether primary coping strategies mediate the relationship between the big five factors and psychological distress and if a mediation exists, to what extent the medi it mediates this relationship. So the conceptual framework uh, has uh, indicated the relationship between the independent variable, that is, those are big five factors, and the dependent variable, psychological distress, as well as coping strategies. There are three categories of coping strategies, primary, secondary, and tertiary and scope of my study is limited to primary coping strategies. There are eight. I think it's important to know, to mainly to take home something from this presentation, just to run through uh, the eight. Problem solving, cognitive restructuring, express emotion, social support, we can consider them as more healthy or positive coping strategies, whereas problem avoidance, visual thinking, uh, self-criticism and social withdrawal we consider as more disengaged methods of coping or simply negative ways of coping. Um, literature review has been uh, divided into six areas. The theoretical foundation of this research is on the uh, Lazarus and Fogman's transactional stress theory, in which um, it explains that res uh, res um, stress is an actually is an ongoing process uh, between the relation in the relationship between environmental factors and personal variables. And in terms of personality and stress, a study conducted in Malaysia taking 120 academic administrators revealed that there is a significant relationship between personality and stress. Similarly, a recent study in China uh, confirmed that personality factors such as agreeableness, openness to experience, and neuroticism affect depressive symptoms. In terms of personality and coping, a recent study in Iran confirms that some personality traits are associated with passive coping and cause high stress, therefore suggested improving and strengthening effective coping strategies of individuals with maladaptive traits. Uh, another meta-analysis uh, by flashback and uh, combat and flashback, I hope I said the word 
the name correctly, in 2007, confirmed the association between personality and core bank. And in terms of big five factors and stress coping, this very researched area, um, it confirms that um, all the big five factors are uh, an important uh, variable in all aspects of stress process. A research uh, done in 2011 found that all big five dimensions associated with coping strategies, which was also confirmed by Penley and Tomaka in 2002, um, that big five factors are associated with perceived stress and coping. Uh, the same meta-analysis uh, done in 2007 by uh, Connor Smith and Flashback identified that personality was weakly associated with broad coping strategies such as engagement and disengagement, however predicted specific coping strategies. Um, obviously, the stress relationship between stress and coping is also very well established in research. You can see the studies conducted. From that, I, I think it's important to note this study conducted in Japan. Uh, it stated that depressive depression or post depression or positively associated uh, depression was positively associated with avoidance strategies and negatively with problem solving strategies. Similarly, the mediating effect of coping was also very well established in research. Now, um, in Sri Lanka, this is the first time this kind of research was done, taking definitely a sample uh, of this size. Um, this was a purposive sample, taking 137 working executives from IT, government, banking, uh, manufacturing, and hotel sector. Main reason was I had complete access to this uh, industries. And uh, continuing, uh, methodology, the measures used were Big Five inventory and uh, coping strategy inventory. Kessler's psychological distress, which, the, which was the tool that was uh, validated in Sri Lanka before. The mediation analysis was conducted using Barron and Kenny's approach, uh, which was a very famous uh, model used for mediation analysis. There were two analytical models, establishing first to establish the relationship between the causal variable and the outcome variable, and then to see what happens to that relationship when the mediating variable is introduced. So it was found that psychological distress was um, correlated with all big five factors except extraversion. This supports some, most of the previous research done. And uh, several significant correlations between big five factors and, uh, and uh, primary coping strategies were also identified. <laughs> Step two of the model, that is to establish the relationship between mediating variable and the psychological distress, I found that uh, wishful thinking, self-criticism, social withdrawal, all are disengaged methods of coping, you can notice that, had a, a significant impact on psychological distress. Then um, the third step of the mediation model, you can see almost all the three, basically three disengaged methods of uh, coping with self-criticism, social withdrawal, and visual thinking, um, they, were, uh, they were affected by the uh, big five traits, agreeableness, and uh, consciousness, and neuroticism. Finally, the mediating relationship, uh, we found that uh, consciousness, I'll quickly go into the final findings, that's right. So it was found that um, neuroticism was mediated by visual thinking. It was a partial mediation, and the Sobel test was carried out. It confirmed the mediation. Thereafter, visual thinking on consciousness, it was a full mediation. The Sobel test again passed. However, when it comes to self-criticism on consciousness, uh, the Sobel test uh, failed. Therefore, uh, it confirmed that uh, that primary coping strategies do mediate the relationship between big five factors and psychological distress. And also the two big five traits which were mediated were neuroticism and consciousness, and it were, both of them were mediated by visual thinking. <coughs> the findings actually can be uh, used mostly in stress management training and coaching, and definitely I can see the application when it comes to recruitment and selection. The, in the future, uh, more research can be done by studying the 